Hello, my friends of Hattari Labs. This time um, we are going to make a tutorial on how to do a homogeneous evaporation, how to simulate evaporation and homogeneous redox reactions with Frixi. Okay, this is actually the example number four of the Frixi documentation where we will simulate how evaporation affects the re the components and the speciation on water okay so and this is um this example is i mean on the setup is very simple to set up however it's a little bit complicated when we have to deal with uh, for example the redox reaction on nitrogen for example okay so um, according to the, in order for the model to run, it's a little bit different from this setup because of what you find on the, on the documentation because actually we will need to use the Watec database, so database Watec, yeah, otherwise uh, it do not recognize the ammonium okay so we save it save as let's say evaporation reactions okay and then we need to put the title the title will be any title let's say rain evaporate reaction because actually this is the example where you have Rainwater that has been evaporated. No? Okay, and then we define the solution, and the solution is precipitation rain from central Oklahoma. Okay, where the pH is 4.5 because actually uh, precipitation rain because of the mixture with of the dissolution of CO2 on rainwater it came a little bit uh, acid to the to the ground, and then we have some calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, chloride. Mm -hmm. And the temperature is 25 degrees, and the concentrations are in milligrams per liter. Okay, we have some carbon, and we have that uh, CO2 is sub subsaturated. What does it mean that this subsaturated that uh, that more ca more CO2 can be dissolved in water. However, uh, that won't happen because uh, the medium is is not uh, the medium is not capable of providing more. No, no, no. The medium is provided, but at the beginning it's not saturated. Okay, so we have the first reaction. Um, if you know one mole of water, no one. One mole of water, no, one kilogram of water, of water is 55 moles. Cool. So, and then we are going to set up a reaction. The reaction will be that of the 55. 52.73 moles will be evaporated, yeah? And then what, what we will see is what happened with this 52 that, I mean, how water chemistry will be affected if water is evaporated. At the beginning, Frixi assumes that water that is evaporated is absolutely pure, so it has no ions on it, yeah? It can be an assumption, something could happen, but however, at the beginning, uh, for this, for this, uh, for this example, we will see that the reaction is. Uh, we see that that water that will be evaporated will be absolutely pure. Okay, then we save that as a solution too. Okay, and then we end this. Okay, and then, 
Okay, so here we will have the water that is evaporated. Okay, oh, cool. We can run this. Um, we can save, and then we can, then we were going, in order to follow the tutorial, we are going to insert like the mix of water, but with more water. I mean, it's like the factor 20 of the water that we have of the resulting water of here. This is mostly just to show, I mean, like the, the problems, I mean, the, this case says that 95% of water is being evaporated. So in the end, we, from one liter, we will end up with 50 milliliters. But since we have that deal, since we want that the final volume is one liter, so we will increment the 50 millimeters times 20 just to have more kind of the morality per liter, okay? That's why. Okay, cool, so we save it, save, and then we save as, as a dat file, and then from the dat file, we run, run friction file, and that's it, so easy. And then we have, okay, this is, database is used, okay, cool, and then these are the solutions, cool, 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 cool. These are the elements, and with, when you use Watek, it can recognize the nitrogen, this, this is pieces of nitrogen. Otherwise, it wouldn't recognize it with the normal Frixi, with the normal Frixi database, okay? This is the morality, okay. and it says that this is the morality of carbon in equilibrium with CO2. But if you see, there is, at the beginning was not at equilibrium, that's why this is the morality at equilibrium. Okay, cool, uh, this is the redox couple that can be whether it's nitrogen minus three or nitrogen five. That where, let me give you a little bit background on this. Uh, ta, 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 ta. So this is nitrate, this comes from nitrate and this comes from ammonium, okay? So it's the redox couple in between nitrate and ammonium. From the species, mostly of water is mostly of the hydrogen and the hydroxide is uh, as water, if you see. Carbon is mostly as CO2. Calcium is as a free ion. Chloride is as well free. Uh, potassium is free. Magnesium is free. Boop, 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 boop. And this is at the beginning. No? Nitrogen is as ammonium and as a nitrate. Okay. Sodium is free. And Sulfate is as well free. <laughs> and the, at the beginning, without the evaporation, uh, at the beginning, the, it was, the, this precipitation water was not saturated of anything. Yeah? Because it's, it's precipitation water. I mean, water came directly from this, from the air, and it, it didn't have time to be mixed with other, only with dust from the atmosphere. So that's that's what we have. However, if we see the batch reactions, yeah, when we when ninety five percent of water is being evaporated, yeah. We have the molality here, and here, like we have calcium, but this is the one that interests us. Ammonium is zero. What, what has happened? That ammonium has been 
reduced, has been oxidized. Ammonium has been oxidized, and there is no ammonium. If you see, there is no ammonium on the on the mixture, on the evaporated water, and nitrate has as well decreased from the molality here was uh, no no the molality has increased because it's less water so the concentration is is higher but okay this is this has i mean this has increased but it's interesting to see that ammonium has been eliminated because of the evaporation okay and all this ammonia that has been eliminated or reduced, it has it has turned it into um, nitrate, into no into dissolved nitrogen, okay, and a little bit of these species of nitrogen, but it's, it's few, mostly in this, okay, cool. And still, if water is being, still, if water is being evaporated, if water is being evaporated, uh, is being undersaturated. If you see, is undersaturated of of uh, of everything i mean there is no element there is no species that is oversaturated cool and if you see the second part is the same but the molality is 20 times higher only okay that is is just uh, is for the purpose of the of this example okay i just strongly recommend you to you to read the this uh I strongly recommend you to read this this uh, this exercise. There is a much deeper explanation. And thank you for following follow us on our website. We are from Hatari Labs. Hatari Labs is a website related to knowledge sharing on open source software in water resources. So hatarilabs.com. We have a blog with many tutorials. Yeah, we have a lot of tutorials in QGIS, ModFlow, ModFlow with Model News, uh, Rixi, OpenFOAM, and so on. Yeah, and we have another, some webinars that you can as well take part. And we have a YouTube channel like the one that you're seeing right now. So I strongly recommend you to sign up here, please to this channel and please share this on your social network because it's really important for us because we want that to we want to spread knowledge but we need from you we need that you share this on the on your social networks and because if you find this interesting okay my name is Saul Montoya please have a great day and hope you to see you in another tutorial. See you, bye bye. All the files from this will be on the description of this video. Thank you.